there, Jessica again. Today I'm going to be talking about world building. Now world building seems fairly straightforward and simple at first, but once you dive into it, it's got a lot of complex thoughts to it. You have to figure out, does my world have magic? And if so, how is that controlled? If your magic is controlled, who is it controlled by? What is the political climate of your world? If there's magic, is that held away by politicians, by monarchs, by religious leaders? Do they restrict the books, all of the ways to learn that magic? Are they successful in restricting that? that brings us to economics. If your world has magic in it, how does that affect the economy? Obviously, it would make some resources more valuable, some less valuable. What is their currency in your world? And again, that brings you back to politics. How does the religious leaders or the country's leaders or um, political leaders, however, whatever they may be, how do they control the economy? What kind of currency do they have? Is it easy for your people in this world to get the basic supplies they need, food, um, basic necessities? Is it difficult? Is it more difficult in some countries than others? What is their farming like? Where do they get their food? What do they export? What do they import? If you have these different classes and different political figures, then is there any kind of class system? And if there is, are there people who are classist? And along with that, is it racism? Is there sexism? What are these people doing? How do they react? What about people that maybe aren't full X species and are part Y? Then what? Do people treat them with more racist overtones or undertones because they are part that and part person as they would see it and therefore an abomination? Are they less racist because they're part person? These are all very important things to think about when you're talking about your world. And what's interesting about them is you may never even write them down, but having a firm base of what your world is and why it works the way it works will give you a good grasp of why your characters react the way they do and how they are likely to view the world. If you have a society where one thing is expected and they go off and do another thing, then they better have a good reason for it. These things really help to build your world, make it more cohesive more believable to the readers and give your characters a lot more to play off of. Now I know it's December and it's a very busy month for most people. Happy holidays. Even amid all the present wrapping and shopping and holiday craziness, it's a good idea to just think about these things. Let them stew, let your mind work them out, unravel them like a puzzle and really figure out how your world works and why it works. And then you'll have a much more believable story. Have a happy holidays. Bye.